good morning everyone i think we will start the event so my name is sagar and i am the group leader of this uh, salesforce admin group ahmednagar along with me uh, there is mr amit jadav who is also the group leader and the founder of this group so we will be uh, having our special guest mr kapil who is the speaker of this event he will be giving a brief intro on uh, getting started with survey also there is a quiz at the end of this event so uh, and the winner of the quiz will get four certification vouchers so we will pick four winners from the quiz and so do stick till the end of the event to get the vouchers so over to you mr kapil yeah th thank you so much sagar okay so uh, good morning uh, good afternoon good evening based on your time zone so hi uh, this is kapil batra uh, let me just start this uh, presentation with my introduction and yeah before starting the presentation i would like to mention uh, i would like to thank uh, khyati mehta who has recently posted on twitter uh, about this about this event so yes you are too quick there okay so let me just share my screen so i can just start this presentation okay okay let me know when the screen is visible uh, sagar i hope yes, my screen is visible yeah yeah okay. yes yes kapil all right okay so uh, one more, I'm uh just uh, yeah. kapil i stop you uh, one more thing guys please do subscribe kapil's channel he is making a very good uh, says first video i already posted link on a comments uh, yeah kapil go ahead okay thank you all right so i'm kapil batra so i'm working as a salesforce developer at yes yanam consult as mumbai so basically i am a remote employee so for me it's always work from home i mean uh, i know uh, in the pandemic days everyone is working from home but for me it was like always work from home because i am a remote employee okay so uh, some of you may know me uh, by my youtube channel i'm having a youtube channel named since salesforce gold I'm, and i'm just posting some informative videos there so you can just directly go and check that out you can also follow my twitter handle you can follow me on linkedin and uh, yes yeah. okay so let's start today's session so in today's session we will talk about surveys so the session is basically getting started with surveys so in this session we will learn like uh, what are the surveys how and where you can use it why you should use it so these will be the things which will be discussing in this uh, in this session okay let's start with the topic first so in this session i'll be covering like what is a survey how you can enable it and set up it and how you can design your own survey in your salesforce org there are some criteria uh, through which you can add logic to your survey so we will be uh, we will be checking that out also and after that uh, i'll let you know how you can distribute your survey because it is very important part of survey like after creating the survey you have to distribute it to get the response and the last part will be to analyze the response to analyze the user response what they are responding to what what are their needs okay So let's start with uh, what is a survey. So guys, a survey is a form with questions specifically designed to gather information about people's experience, preference, wants, and needs. So overall, uh, if I say in short, so it's basically a form with some questions uh, through which you know you can just understand the user's requirement, like what they need. You can just understand their uh, requirement. You can understand their feedback. So uh, a survey form could be uh, three types. Uh, a survey could be a normal survey form. you know just to gather the information from the user a survey could be a feedback form just to take user feedback uh, for a specific survey or a survey could be a question poll also you can create a question poll also to get the feedback to a particular question so that's how uh, we'll be discussing the three types of survey in this uh, session okay so what is the next option we are having here so the next option could be let's build the survey now because you know now we know like what is a survey so we can start building the survey or we have second option understand the type first 
so we will go with this meme and we will try to understand the types of because you know it is very important to understand the types of survey before building the survey okay so let me just uh, show you some example of survey through which you will be uh, able to better understand the types of the survey okay so to discuss this survey part i will be using a basic example of the of these two uh, food giants uh, i hope uh, everyone must have orders from zomato or from swiggy someone uh, someone are having favorable as their zomato or someone uh, maybe using the swiggy also so we'll be having these two food giants in this uh, session as an example so as you can see this is a basic survey form and in this form we are just gathering information from user we are just checking out like what they actually need so in this form we are having few questions here like uh, the first question is to order food and the question is uh, single selection it could be yes or no then if yes from which company do you prefer then we can choose from different different types of company like in example i am having swiggy tomato and other and the third is how often you order food online it could be daily weekly fortnight or monthly so using this kind of form we are just gathering the information of the user here are some other questions like uh, the question could be about the meal like which meal you typically order food online uh, we can order breakfast lunch snacks or maybe dinner and the next question is like how how do you prefer to order food online like uh, uh, there could be scenarios like someone is using the mobile app and someone uh, would like to use the web browser also so we are just checking out the preference of the users here like how do you prefer to order the food and after that we are checking the approximate money spent on ordering food per time so there are few options like less than 150 250 500 or more than 500 so guys in this form we are just gathering the information from users so this is a basic survey form example uh, which we'll be using uh, to get the information to get the users need okay so this was the first example of the first survey type so the next is feedback form you must have seen uh, the feedback form like whenever you do online shopping there's a feedback form whenever you do uh, online food ordering there's a feedback form so feedback form is the form basically just to seek users review for a specific service like whenever the food will be getting delivered you will be getting a feedback form and in that feedback form you are having some basic options like we can have rating and what do you like about this delivery and what did you not like about it and as you can see there is an option to add a specific photo also like if, if your food was not delivered well so you can just click a picture of it and you can just upload it in this feedback form and the feedback form will be directly delivered to the company executives so this was the second type of uh, survey which is a feedback form which can be used to get uh, feedback for a specific uh, service let's move to the next one so the next would be poll survey a poll is also kind of survey in which we will we are just having a single question for all the customers uh, let's say if we talk about this zomato and swiggy thing so you are getting a poll always uh, once the order is delivered so you are getting a poll kind of question for the delivery boy like how was the performance or how did he deliver the food in which you are having option like you could have rating 1 to 5 or you could have the smiley sign you must have seen like the delivery boys whenever they will deliver the food they ask you to give them five stars because uh, they will be using this data uh, to improve their performance and improve the delivery system so this is the third type of survey which is the poll survey okay so these were the three basic uh, kind of survey which we'll be discussing uh, in this example later okay now let's move to the next slide the next part is how you can get success with survey i mean why you should use it there could be multiple scenarios why you can uh, use the survey and how you can boost your business using these surveys so the first uh, point is get accurate data using the surveys we can get specific data from a user let's uh, let's say if you talk about the survey form which we have discussed in the previous slide so using this form let's say if i'm uh, if my user is filling this form and sending it to me what data i'm having right now i know like if the user is ordering food online i know the company from which the user is ordering food online i know the exact amount the user would like to spend uh, over the mobile application or over the web browser to order the food online so the first point is to get the accurate data and you know based on that accurate data we can display different different results to user like let's say if a zomato user fill this form and if we are sending this form to zomato so do you know how important this data is for zomato because you know using this data they can just get the information like when user is ordering food how much they are spending 
but do you know how important is this data for swiggy uh, the zomato data why it is important for swiggy you know because based on this data swiggy can convert zomato customers to their platform let's say uh, if swiggy knows like if someone like to order food from zomato and he's ordering breakfast okay and let's say if a user is spending less than 250 rupees on breakfast so if if a swiggy uh, executive will get this form uh, the zomato form so he can just send the notification to a particular time to a time of uh, when user would like to have their breakfast to so the breakfast time and swiggy can send some really cool offers like you know get 50% off uh, when you order food around 250 or uh, less so you know using these uh, survey form using these skills uh, swiggy can easily convert the zomato customer to their platform itself so that's how the uh, that's how the accurate data can help you in your business the next part is flexible so basically surveys are flexible you can add multiple questions here like uh, these are single and multi select quick list and after that we are having rating we can have a scoring system and we can also have this poll kind of thing into the survey so yeah uh, surveys are pretty flexible so you can easily modify your survey you can change the question you can just simply drag and drop everything in the survey itself okay so the third thing is uh, survey is quick and easy so to design a survey you just need basic uh, knowledge of uh, using your salesforce all because you know to design the survey you just need to drag and drop everything the survey is are basically quick and easy to build you just have to drag the component from one side to another and and you can just build the survey like that okay so the next thing is uh, compare results so using the survey response we can compare the result of the survey like let's talk about the previous example if we talk about this example so we can com- uh, we can compare the result like uh, if user are liking the service or not or let's talk about the previous survey form using this form we can compare like how many users are ordering food at the time of breakfast or how many users are ordering food at the time of lunch and how much they are spending so you know we can just compare different different types of result and we can improve the user experience based on those result itself okay so the next thing is track performance this is very important part of survey to track performance so uh, as i told you earlier like the zomato or swiggy delivery guys they will ask for five stars so why they are asking for five stars because the companies are tracking their performance based on the star rating so let's say company is having poll so this particular poll will be delivered to all the customers for a specific delivery boy every delivery boy is having a separate poll and uh, the poll the same poll will be delivered to all the customers okay and based on based on this poll rating they will just uh, they can just increase the incentive they will be getting their incentive they there might be some other benefits also so that's how you can uh, use these uh, poll kind of survey to track users performance okay so guys uh, i i hope now you understand like what is a survey where you can use it and how uh, how you can use it so this was the uh, theoretical part basically so let's start with an example now so now i will be creating a survey here and i will let you know how you can create it how you can enable it and, and we will be building a survey live here we will be checking out the preview we will send the survey and we will getting we will be getting the response also okay so let's start with the uh, tutorial now let me just uh, open my org copy okay so this is my sales org guys so this is a basically empty org Uh, this is an empty playground from trailhead because i am just using it for testing purpose okay so let's start with how you can build the survey so the survey will be delivered into the app launcher like if it is enabled here so you can just directly go for it and search for survey there as you can see there is no result right now because surveys are not enabled in this or right now we have to enable it first so to enable the survey <coughs> you have to just go to startup because our surveys are available in every org but still you have to enable it first and then you can go in survey setting okay and from survey setting as you can see there's a button to enable it by enabling the survey you will be able to use the survey you can you will be able to create the survey in your salesforce org so let's click on this button okay and so you need that as you can see uh, there are few options here like select the default community for creating public survey invitation so we won't be selecting any community here because i'm not having a community in this org you can select the community if you would like to send the survey to users uh, who are outside the salesforce org 
okay because you know to send send the service uh, to us uh, outside the salesforce or you need a public community you need a public url which which should be accessible uh, to all the users and underneath that there's another option which says service owner can manage this one so we'll be also enabling it because survey owner can manage the, manage the response of the survey because i will be the owner of the survey and and only users in this are so i'll be managing the response also okay so the surveys are enabled now now if you search for the in the app launcher so the survey option will be there let me just show you okay so so as you can see the surveys are uh, here now so let's click on it okay <clears throat> so uh, this is the default survey screen you will be getting in your org so this is the default survey tab and these are some default surveys available uh, in this org itself so we won't be touching it guys uh, we'll be designing a new one so let's click on the new button and start creating the survey now okay so we have to name our survey so let's name it uh, because it's a group's first survey so i will name it uh, group first survey okay so this was the name this will be the name of the survey and underneath that you can see there's a checkbox option which says create survey as a template so by clicking on the checkbox you can create the survey as a uh, template for other surveys so you know like other users can use the same template and they can just build their survey using the same template so I, I won't be creating it as a template now so let's go for the normal option here okay so guys uh, if you are familiar with community so you so you will notice like uh, there's a similar kind of functionality like uh, we are having in the community itself like there's a drag and drop option there's a page option branding option like all these options we are having in the community also so if you're familiar with community so the survey uh, look and feel could be similar for you guys so this is the default survey build screen and as you can see in this default survey screen we are getting few pages here we are getting welcome page and there's the option to add more pages here and we are getting the thank you page here so in the welcome page and thank you page, this, these are the required fields. Basically, the thank you message and the welcome message here. Like if you if you try to click the preview here, so it will just give you a validation here. Like this field is required. See, so we cannot uh, preview the survey until we have the uh, required fields here. Okay, so let's build it and let's uh, have the quick preview of it by answering the welcome and thank you message itself. Okay. So let's say we are having the welcome message like, uh, hello, uh, please take this survey. So we could understand your needs, okay, and, yeah, and improvise your subscription. Okay, so this is the welcome message of my survey. Now, if you try to preview the survey, so it won't work because, you know, the thank you uh, message is still pending. So let's add the thank you message now. A thank you message could be uh, anything, I mean, based on the requirement. So this is a demo, so I will be using this. Uh, thank you for taking the survey. Okay. All right, so we are having the welcome message now and we are having the thank you message now. Okay, now let's try to preview the survey. So as you can see, like the preview is getting generated in new tab now. Okay, so this is my welcome page. And if you notice, like I'm not having a previous or next button here because in this, I'm just uh, having another form, which is a thank you form. So it will be directly displayed on the finish button. Let me just show you the thank you form. So after clicking on finish button, this is the thank you form, which will be displayed uh, once the survey will be finished. Okay, so let's build the survey. We'll be adding some more option here. So let's build the same example, which we have seen earlier uh, to discuss the Zomato and Swiggy thing, like how they will be taking surveys from customer, how they will be taking the order, how we'll be getting the feedback using the Zomato and the Swiggy thing, okay. So in the survey panel, guys, as you can see, there are multiple options here, like the welcome page, thank you page, the branding option to change look and feel of the survey. We are having preview option. We are having activate button, save button. We are having build, uh, which is the current screen. 
we are having option to send the survey and we are having option to analyze the response also okay so let's start with the branding first so using the branding guide we will be changing the look and feel of this survey okay because you know it's it's normally look like a basic survey right now like if we see the preview so there's a basic wallpaper behind i mean it, it does not relate with the i mean with the current example okay so we will just uh, change the branding here all right so in the branding option we are having an option to change the background image here first okay so let's change the background image here all right so i'm having some images here just for this demo okay so let me just select this one okay so the background has been changed here and we have to uh, decrease the opacity of this content area because as you can see the background is not visible properly over the content area so this is an option to decrease the opacity also you can just decrease the opacity of background you can blur the background image and as you can see the surveys are uh, options are like uh, just click uh, click drag and uh, drag and drop kind of options so surveys are so flexible to design so uh, let's keep the background color and yeah, here it is the content card so this is the content card guys in which we'll be having the questions we'll be having just over here so let's decrease the opacity so we can just see the little bit of background here okay so i think yes uh, this looks good now okay now we are having some options to change the text color i think the black will be fine here and we are having choice uh, to change the answers we can change the opacity of answers okay we won't be doing it uh, okay so let's change the color of the buttons now so as you can see there is an option to change the start next and finish button color so let's make it red uh, let's have the tomato color here okay and for the previous button we will have the swiggy color which is orange so yeah here it is all right we are having next and previous button here so these were the option uh, we have changed using the branding tab now let's move to the pages again okay so this is the default page like welcome and thank you page so we obviously we have to add more page here to make it look like a survey okay so let's start it uh, by adding a logo here okay because you know the welcome page also should uh, look good and let's check the preview first this was the old preview and let me just show you the new one okay now it's uh, looking kind of a thing related to zomato and swiggy or online food delivery system but we are not having any questions here so this is just the default screen and let's add a logo here underneath this uh, welcome note we will add a logo here okay so let me just add the image from here okay so we can just upload an image here so <clears throat> i will be selecting my uh, channel's logo here all right so this is the logo and let's move it to a little uh, right okay let's make it in center okay all right so it's looking uh, much better now okay so let's keep building the survey so this was a uh, welcome page and i think it is looking fine now so let's start with the second page in the next page uh, we could have the basic details of users like uh, the basic details like uh, do you order food online and which company do you prefer and all other uh, questions so as you can see this is the new page let's change the name here first let's name it uh, basic details okay so here as you can see uh, there's an option to add a question here okay so we can add different different types of questions here. like we can add a date uh, we can ask for like and dislike long test we are having pick list rating we are having a score we are having short test or we are having single selection okay my first question will be a single selection question okay so let me just have the question here the question was uh, do you order food online okay there could be only two answers for that yes or no so we'll be having yes and no here okay so this is the first question let's add the next one so 
the next question will be asking like if you are ordering food online then from which company do you prefer to order food okay so this will be also a single select question so let's say uh, if yes from which company do you prefer okay so let's have the zomato and swiggy here Okay, let's have some more questions here. Uh, now the next question is that how often do you food on, how often you order food online and the uh, options are daily, weekly, fortnight, monthly. Okay, so for this question, guys, I will be having the multi selection part here because you know uh, I could be ordering food daily or weekly both. Uh, I will be ordering food sometime uh, weekly and sometime monthly. So there could be multiple scenarios for that. Or maybe let's say uh, if we are a group of friends and we are just ordering using one single app, so there could be different different choices based on the selection. Okay, so let's have the question. How can you food? Uh, how can you order food online? Okay. And guys, uh, uh, underneath every question, you, you must have noticed the description box here. So you can just describe if you if you would like to describe any other details about the question. So you can just enter it here. Otherwise, you can just directly go for the option. So let's say I'm, uh, we are having option daily VC fortnight and monthly. All right. Okay, the next question will be the which meal uh, which meal you typically order online so there could be multiple meal uh, like um, maybe i'm ordering breakfast and dinner so for this uh, also we'll be having the multi pick list option here so let me just type the question quickly so the question is which meal you typically order food online okay and let's have the options here. Options are breakfast, lunch, uh, dinner, or we might be ordering snacks only. Okay, so we are having four options here as well. Okay, so the next question will be a single select question. The question is, how do you prefer to order food online? Like the user could be using a mobile application or he could be using a web browser. Okay, so we are just getting that information also. So, so in general, how do you prefer to order food? And the answers could be uh, over the mobile app. Okay, and the second over the web browser. All right, and the last portion of the survey will be uh, the approximate money you spend on ordering food, because you know that is a very important part to get the amount a user would like to spend over their food. So you know, based on that amount, these company can display different different uh, vouchers, different different uh, you know deals. Uh, on the mobile application or the web browser based on user preference. So this will be single select question guys and this will be the last question of the survey. So we are just checking out the approximate amount a user would like to spend on his food. Okay, so in answers, we are having less than 150, uh, less than 250, less than 500, or there could be some people who are using uh, more than 500. So let's make it uh, more than 500. All right. So these are the, uh, this was the first page of the survey. So let's check out the preview ones, okay? All right, so in this preview, as you can see, uh, we are having the welcome page now. And if you notice, like we are having the next button here, like earlier we were only having the finish button because you know, we were not having any pages here. But now 
like we are having a page here so it will display a next button here so let's hit the next button okay so this is the survey form guys which we have um, built uh, in the survey builder so there are a few options do auto food online we can just select the choice of the option from here like this is the multi select field so we can just select multiple options and this is also multi select so we can just select multiple options here as well this is single select field and uh, this is also single select field okay and underneath that you can see the finish and previous button okay so if i if i will click on the finish button so it will redirect me to the thank you page and if i will click on the previous button so it will redirect me to the welcome page because you know this is the only page we are having right now here okay so let's uh, create one more page here okay so after taking the basic detail uh, we will be just having another page here and in which we will be just get uh, we'll just try to rate the user experience here so we'll be using some different kind of questionnaire and based on that we will be getting the rating from the user okay so let's add a question here and the question will be to rate the service so we can use the rating uh, question for that or we can use the score option in score we'll be having one to ten so let's select the score option here okay so the question is uh, please rate the service okay and underneath that as you can see we are having option to select uh, 0 to 10 okay and the next question will be uh, do you like the app experience so to check the app experience we can have the rating we can have the score also check the app experience and we can have this uh, like or dislike option here so we'll be having this like or dislike option okay so let's check the like and dislike option uh, The question is do you like the app experience and underneath that you can see the like and dislike option here and guys uh besides that you you can see uh there's an option to select an icon pair here i mean instead of like and dislike you can display happy or unhappy uh, or you can have yes or no option here so uh let's select this one happy or unhappy i mean if the user will be happy with the services then we click on happy and if the user is not satisfied with the services so user can simply choose the unhappy option here okay so this was the second page and let's rename it let's say uh, rating okay so then the purpose of creating different different pages are that like uh, the users can uh, check the response based on the page also like based on the question based on the complete survey or based on the specific page like uh, how, how was the user response on this rating page or, or how was the user's response on the basic detail page okay so let's hit the preview one more time and let's check out the second page here all right so as usual this is the welcome page you have seen it uh, i think around twice in this uh, demo okay so here we are having options like do auto food online so let's let's fill the survey uh, so let's say yes and if you like from which company do you prefer so i usually use a uh, somato actually i usually use uh, i mean whichever is providing the better offer so but overall yeah it is somato okay so how often you for online so usually i do it weekly only and you should also i mean consider to order food weekly or maybe monthly you should not have the fast food daily and after that uh, which meal you typically order food online so i am ordering i uh, think snacks and maybe sometime lunch so in general how do you prefer to order food online so i'm using the mobile application here and what is the approximate money you spend on ordering food so it is less than 500 okay so next so the next question is please rate the service so as you can see uh, the next form is asking us to rate the service but this is not asking us like we should rate the zomato service the swiggy service or this survey service so so in this second form guys we'll be having a value from the previous form okay like in previous form if user has selected zomato so we will be having the value zomato here and if user has selected swiggy so we'll be having swiggy here okay so we have to uh, add some logics here in this survey to add the value from the previous form let me just show you the functionality first so 
that's how you can just select a score here and do you like the experience you can select happy or unhappy it's basically kind of a radio button here so you can just select any one of them okay so let's add some logic here in this uh, rating form now all right so guys uh about the question uh, if you notice there's a button to insert the content here so using the insert content option you can just insert the value from one form to another form let me show you how it works so uh, the actual question should be please state the uh, zomato service or swiggy service okay so let's say i will be having uh, the name here from the previous form to this form uh, at this place okay so let i, I just have to click here uh, i just have to be at the position you know where where i would like to have the previous field value and after that i can click on the insert content option and there's an option to respond from a previous question so yes it will be respond from a previous question okay now we are having option to select the question here so when it's so basically pick list option so you can just select a question here so my question will be if you ask from which company do you prefer okay so we have inserted the content here now it will display the answer of that question as you can see the question is from form number 1 and the question number is 2 so that's why it is displaying 1.2 here and after that you can see the question here okay so that's how you can just simply insert the content from one form to another you can get the data you can get the answers from one form to another all right so let's check the preview one more time okay so this is the welcome form okay and this is the first form and let's say if i have selected uh, somato from here so these fields are not required right now so you know we can just skip uh, the form so on the next form guys if you have noticed we are having somato here so basically this is the value from the previous form and we are getting value from previous form to this form okay now let's try to change the value let's select swiggy now and let's check the value here again let me just click on the next button all right so as you can see the value is swiggy here so basically we are just getting the values from previous form to this form okay so the survey form is ready now now we can just distribute the forms and we can just get the response and we can analyze the response based on the survey form okay so guys uh, that's how you can just create your own survey form you can change the branding you can change the question there are multiple questions available you can customize it as per your requirements okay so guys to distribute the survey first you have to activate because without act, uh, i mean if it is deactivated you cannot distribute it okay so uh, survey group uh, survey will was activated okay so it is activated now guys now uh, now here as you can see there is a tab to send the survey we were uh, on the view tab right now and now let's move to the send one so here as you can see there there are two options the first one is to get invitation link or qr code the second option is to send an email okay so we'll be just having the link of the survey and we will be sending the survey link to the internal users only all right so guys uh, here we are having two options like the first option is to send the survey to internal users and the second option is to send the survey outside your company to send the survey outside your company guys you have to create a public community for that like as i explained earlier <clears throat> there should be a public community which should be accessible publicly and on that community you can have your survey as as a public survey so as you can see we are not having any community here so that's why we are not getting any option to choose the community or select the community and so we, we won't be displaying it basically on uh, any community so uh, this this is a link guys and here as you can see there are some more options like underneath the link you can see auto expire option by clicking on this option this basically this is a very important option here let's say if you are creating a survey for a specific time let's say if it is election time and you are uh, you are creating a survey just to get user response based on the election candidate okay so the sur survey should not be uh, valid i mean after the election or maybe the on the election day i mean it should only it should be available before the election only so you can just 
you can just uh, hit the text box and you can select any expiry date of the survey and after that expired date the survey link won't be working anymore okay so uh, there are a few more options anonymous response it means we won't be getting user detail the user will be completely anonymous second option is let participants see the response so the participants uh, will be able to see the response so we won't be selecting these options here the underneath that you can see there's option to download qr code maybe you know if you uh, let's say for example if you're a restaurant owner and you need to take the survey of your guest so you can just have a qr code on the billing counter or, or you know on every table and you can just ask your guest to scan the qr code and give the survey for the food or for the service or okay so let's copy this link okay so i have copied this link now let's say if i if i will send this link to an uh, internal user which is only my user unfortunately right now because i'm the only user in this form so this is the survey link guys and let me just open this okay so as you can see guys i can see the survey directly so the same way your internal user will be able to fill out the survey using the particular link and if you're having a public community so all the users outside the salesforce org also will be able to use the survey okay so let's fill out the survey for this time i mean this will be real okay because earlier you know you, you were just testing so let's fill the same option here do you order food online yes uh if you are from which companies i will select zomato again i will be ordering food on uh, weekly basis okay which meal you typically order food online so i order lunch or snack in general how do you prefer to order food online so i am using my mobile application here and i am spending around i mean it's less than 500 okay let's hit the next button Okay, now as you can see, we are having the Zomato from the previous form here. So please rate the Zomato service here. We can rate the service here, let's say eight. Okay, and do you like the app experience? So yes, I like the app experience. Okay, and there's an option to finish button. Uh, so the after the finish, guys, you will be getting the thank you page, uh, which is just the basic page we, we have created. Thank you for taking the service. Okay, that's how you can create and distribute the survey. Now in a survey form, guys, you must you must have seen the option to analyze the survey here. Using the analyze option, you can see the actual response from the user system. It would take some time to refresh the dashboard. It is the survey dashboard basically. Okay. So after refreshing it, as you can see, there's a one survey. And we are not having any data here because you know, as I said, like it would take some time. Maybe if you could refresh it four to five times so the data would be available here but they usually take around four to five minutes to update the dashboard automatically okay and guys using the surveys uh, you can also uh, display the form conditionally i mean based on the user choice based on selection based on the feedback you can display the form conditionally in the survey also and here as you can see there's the option to export the response also so you can just directly export the response and check out the answer. Okay, so in survey guys, uh, you are having a page crunching logic also, uh, and we won't be discussing it in this uh, session because you know it will be a, it, it could take around an hour or so to discuss this page crunching logic. But let me just explain it uh, in short. Okay. So uh, the page branching logic is basically a logic to display a particular page based on a particular condition. Like in our example, in this example, we can display another page here. Let's say if user has selected less than five ratings here. So we can display another page here to ask user like why you have rated us five or less than five. Or if user has uh, rated us uh, greater than five, so we can just skip the page. So uh, that's how you can add logic in your survey. So now I, I hope you everyone understand like what is survey, how you can create it, how you can check response. Okay, so as you can see the dashboard is also available. So how you can check response, how you can send it, and how you can use the survey in your business. Okay, so uh, that's all about service guys. Let's move to the presentation and let me know if anyone is having a query here if you need to discuss something related to this session so you can just let me know you can just send your query in the chat section and i will revert back 
So we already, already have a few questions. Sorry. Who is this? Uh, yeah, hi Kapil, this is Rohit. Hi Rohit. Yeah, so I have one question regarding this survey because I, I already enabled the survey, but I am not able to see in, uh, under the process builder to send a survey link. So you have enabled it, Rohit? Yeah, I enabled, but uh, I want to send this survey with the help of process builder. But in under the process builder, I I am not able to see any option to send the survey. Okay, uh, so uh, Rohit, as I understand, you have enabled survey, you have created the survey, and you are having a link of the survey, or you are trying to send it using the email? No, all 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 things are, I have done, but uh, I want to send this survey with the help of Process Builder. You know, Process mm -hmm. Builder contains different types of options like update record, create record, delete record, all the things. Mm -hmm. So, with the help mm -hmm. of that that option. We have like a, a custom notification we can send with the help of Process Builder, but I want to send this survey with the help of Process Builder. So that I, I got the point, right. this. Okay, so Rohit, have you have yeah. you tried uh, sending an email alert using the Process Builder, and in that email alert, I mean yeah. you can have a specific template, and in that template you can have the survey link. So have you tried it? Yeah, yeah. So in that, if, if you are yeah, creating yeah, I an email alert, this, so I am mm -hmm. able to see. Yeah. Okay, so Roy, what but I will suggest option, here, you but can... if you see an... Yes, Roy, yeah. please carry on. So, my question is, yeah, yeah. So, in Process Builder, uh, you can see um, more than 13 options is there, but uh, I am not able to see any option to send a survey. Because its option is there, but um, in my org, uh, I am not able to see that. Okay, so Roy, is it a, a testing org? I mean, it is a trailhead playground or something like this? It's a full developer account. Okay, and Rohit, have you tried it in any other developer account? Because you know, sometimes we are just having all specific yeah. issues. I mean, it could be a technical issue. So, have you checked it in other developer okay. account? Is it working there or not? Yeah, I will check different accounts, but uh, uh, that, still I am waiting for that. <laughs> uh, that will be great, Rohit. Just check it uh, once in other account also. And if it didn't work, you can just ping me on Twitter. You can just message me personally. And I will personally check that out. No need to worry. Okay. 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 Thank you, Kapil. Thank you. All right. Welcome. Okay, uh, anything else apart from this? Kapil, uh, can you check the chat? There are a few questions posted by our users. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I, I can do. Let me just stop my screen sharing. Okay. All right. There are a few questions here. Let me just check it. Okay, so let me just uh, go through them uh, one by one, okay? All right, so the first is by uh, Pezzle. Uh, survey can be used in any cloud uh, or it is confined to a specific cloud. Okay, so uh, Saga, the survey can be used. I mean, we can use it anywhere, but uh, as, as you know, like it is uh, built to enhance the customer experience. So it is basically part of the service uh, now. Okay. So the survey, we can relate the survey to the service cloud uh, itself. But yes, uh, it is available in, uh, I mean, it is available for all the addition. I mean, you can, if you are not having, like in my developer console, I'm not having service uh, cloud enabled here. But, uh, you know, I was having the survey option. So you can build it anywhere. But as you know, like surveys are, related to customer's response so that's why the survey i think the survey should be related to the service cloud itself okay and the next question is will these be available for trial version the question is by kundan uh, so kundan yes it is available in trial version also like uh, every org is getting 300 survey response with the org itself so if you are having an org you, are, you will be getting the three, getting 300 survey response there so you can just Try those response to send the surveys, and after that, but we, you know, you have to buy it. Okay. So the next question is again by Fazel. I have enabled the survey in my org, and I can't see the survey object even though I have checked the test. So Fazel, it could be a cache issue. You, you should uh, try it, uh, checking it uh, in another tab or maybe in incognito window because as you as you have already seen, I mean, in this example, I have just enabled it, and it was quickly uh, available in the app launcher itself. 
okay and we are having uh, i think uh, the rohit the, uh, the question was from rohit and we have already answered it okay and apart from it let me check some more okay the next question is from anish can we change the font for merged value from previous page so yes we can change the font we can make it bold we can change the font type we can change the font color so it's basically a html text editor so whatever you can do in html uh, text editor you can do it in survey also okay so uh, i think that's that that that's it these were the questions here in the chat section uh, someone just uh, posted there's, there's one, one more, more yeah uh, the question is from vijay any limitations on number of questions per page uh, so vijay there's no limitation while creating so the only limitation i feel is like whenever you're creating a free or whenever you're creating, creating a developer or so you are just setting only 300 survey response for free I mean, you know, so this, these are the response uh, based on the org itself. I mean, it's not like per user or per survey. These are the total response. So the survey can be responded only 300 times in org. So this is the only limitation I feel we are having in the survey. Uh, apart from it, I don't think uh, there's any limitation for questions or anything else. Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, I, I think these were the all questions. Uh, over to you now. Okay. Uh, someone just posted one more, I think, from Megha. Uh, I think it is Anish again. Can we skip thank you and have one page survey com combining question? Uh, sorry, welcome page. Uh, so Anish, yes, I think we can skip the welcome page because you know I have seen the option to skip the welcome page here. So I think yes, we can we can do that. We can skip the welcome page. We can directly start from the question page. You're welcome, Anish. Okay. Any, anyone else? Uh, if anyone is having any question, any query related to service, you can just ask me. Okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. as promised, we will be uh, starting the quiz and uh, it will be a, there will be a timer of five minutes so within there are only few questions so i'll be sending a link of the form quiz form and please fill out the form and submit so we can uh, start with the winner process so i'm sending the link uh, kindly fill the form so i have posted in the chat so I'll start the timer for five minutes now. And I hope my screen is visible. You get targeted. Yeah, so we'll wait for five minutes. Everyone can okay. fill their form. Yeah. So the timer is on, guys. You can just directly go on the link. I'm going to share the link in the chat section. You can just fill in the form. There are some basic questions uh, related to this uh, session only. And there are like $200 and $400 uh, vouchers. And uh, I think you are having a great probability here to get the vouchers. So please uh, do fill the form. Uh, one more thing, guys. I I already pasted the Kapil YouTube link on chat. Please subscribe. He is making a very good Salesforce video. Thank you, Amit. Thank you, Sagar.
so last one minute left if anyone has not filled the form please fill the form Okay. Sagar, please stop the response of the form. Yeah. Okay. Just give me five minutes to check all the responses. Hello, Sagar. Yeah. Uh, are you ready with the result? Yeah, so we have more than four winners. So okay. we need to pick out some names. So we will be doing that live. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to stop share screen.
yeah so we have around 12 people who have gave all the right answers so here is a list of the, those people so what we will do since we have only four vouchers we will be pick up, picking up the name uh, randomly so we have this one website wheel of names so i have entered all the names in them and we will be spinning the wheel for four times so whoever gets lucky will get the vouchers so let's start i hope that's fair for everyone okay so our first uh, winner is vijay nirate so i will remove his name congress vijay Yeah. One more thing, I pasted the WhatsApp group link in chat. Guys, please join there. We'll uh, announce the result there as well. Shilpi Gera. Congrats, Shilpi. So now two more vouchers left. Let's see who get lucky. Sai Kiran, congrats. So I'll be spinning the wheel last time. Okay. Shweta De, congratulations. So congrats everyone who won the vouchers and rest of them don't get disappointed we will be having more events and we will be having this kind of gifts vouchers and salesforce swag so don't get disappointed so congrats to all the winners we will be sending you a link for the vouchers uh, we will be sending the voucher code to you on email Okay, I think that's fair enough. Yes, guys, and also we send mail and also post it on the WhatsApp group. Okay, that's it from our end. Thank you guys for joining this event. Thank you, Kapil, for this wonderful Thanks, session. Kapil. Yeah, thank, thank you everyone. Thanks for joining and congratulations to all the winners. And thank you, Amit and Sagar. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks all. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.